my name is Asra Rajgopal. I'm an independent curator based in the UK, and I'm sitting here today uh, with my two collaborative partners, Tapan Mithal Deshpande and Sunaina Bala. And we have come together today to talk to you about our programme, which is called RISE, Resilient and Inspiring Stories of Empowerment, specifically looking at how we combine arts, health and awareness of various medical issues, but specifically breast cancer. So I'd now like to introduce you to um, Sunaina Bala. Uh, please, would you say a few words about yourself and tell us about you? Uh, I'm an artist and I'm based in between Singapore and Delhi. And um, I've been a practicing artist for the last 20 years or so. My work revolves around uh, the body and healing at, in nature. Great. Thank you, Sunaina. And Tapan? Hi, I'm Tapan. I'm an architect who's leading a collaborative platform called ThoughtPod, which tries to bring together art and the creative communities onto a common platform. So that's what we do. Fantastic. And so we have decided to um, put together a program uh, relating to arts and the health. And um, we came up with this title, Rise, to think about how the arts can help raise awareness and also help that process of healing, that journey of resilience uh, and going through that um, process. So let's just um, try and explain that a bit more. Why have we decided to bring together a programme relating to arts and health and why breast cancer, Sunaina? So for me, breast cancer is a personal journey and I was diagnosed with breast cancer about six years ago. And at that time also, uh, when I got diagnosed, I didn't have enough people to, or even women to talk to about the condition. It's a very scary word. Cancer itself is a very scary word. And when you're going through it, you really do need a support system. Mm -hmm. And um, as an artist, I felt like there was a lot that could be explored through the, through the, uh, the neutral and, and lovely medium of art. And I could have these casual conversations with people and men and women about serious issues like breast cancer and other uh, ailments. And that's that's why I wanted to just start this ball rolling and have this discussion. I mean, in, in the UK, October is very well known as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Tapan, in your experience working with the different communities around the airport in Mumbai, um, how aware are women from these communities about health issues such as screening, early screening to avoid breast cancer and so in and that. fact that's one of the main reasons why I feel this is the perfect kind of uh, program to collaborate with is because there is literally zero awareness and plus there is a social stigma you know so I think like you mentioned that it's the entire family mm -hmm. so apart from the fact that the women have to go through a kind of a constant uh, program of diagnosis and keep themselves safe and aware, it is important for the rest of the people living around them to be aware as well. And what more than you know, using art and something like quilting again brings women together to share very, very personal stories. And which is why again, the whole fact that we, this program is going to be about those inspiring stories, about the process of resilience. How do we build resilience mm. around the subject mm. is going to be a kind of a priority in terms of leading the program also. Mm. Whether we design a quilt with it, whether we create different kinds of uh, mediums, bring them together. The subject of it, I think, is very interesting and the intent of it is very clear. And which is why I think it is very important to do mm. this as well so currently yes. as far as i understand they are in india and uh, though some of them are uh, working with larger organizations outside the country there are very very strong drivers of looking at very specific types within the within the cancer large kind of you know the macro animal i would say and uh, the ones which we have interacted with all are very excited 
about the idea and are willing to go beyond what their uh, current capacities are mm -hmm. in order to take this forward yeah. because they also feel that you know now there is a need for that change for that switch from them asking for money or for resources in order to continue with their work or giving beyond what their capacity is to the cause and they feel that larger networks are required find it like you were saying that my work is very autobiographical until i did not uh, go through that myself uh, the gravity of it is uh, very theoretical with the lack of a better word and uh, the most important thing that hits home is that prevention 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 and awareness mm -hmm. is something that is critical to uh, anybody and it, it's not only limited to breast cancer it's, it's we can talk about all cancers mm -hmm. and uh, especially in our communities to talk about it and then i would like to actually create artworks from the stories that i'm going to gather and talking to these women mm -hmm. and coming to putting them all together to create further artworks which will then you know it will become like a snowball effect where you are creating more out of the stories that are coming to you yeah so that itself becomes like a community project and which will be yeah. very interesting and i think that's really really important that we're not producing art for people we're producing art with, with. people absolutely and it's about um coming together and sharing their experience and allowing their experiences to inform yeah. what the artwork is going to look like, feel like, sound like. Absolutely. Um, so I 